Hi, my name is David. I'm with Republic Manufacturing. And today I want to come to you guys today to show you how to remove and install the bearing housing assembly on the RB4002. We need a 7 16 deep well socket. You need a quarter inch Allen head socket and a 36 foot pound torque wrench. And you need a straight edge. So first thing we have to do is we have to remove the housing. So we remove the band clamp. Once we remove the band clamp, we can remove the housing. Once the housing is removed, we can remove the six bolts in the front. Once we have the six bolts removed, we'll have to slide the bearing housing assembly out. So we're gonna pick it up and then we're gonna make sure the thermocouple of holes are lined up with the slots that are in this plate. Once we have that lined up, we're gonna put the bolts back in and you can use an impact just to snug them up. Once the bolts are snugged up, we wanna use our torque wrench to set the torque for those bolts at 36 foot pounds. And then once we have all the bolts are torqued, we're also going to go ahead again and we want to check our alignment. We're going to use a straight edge and we're going to lay the straight edge on the motor pulley, hitting the face of the blower pulley, making sure we're straight. If that's straight, then we can go ahead and reinstall the housing. securing the band clamp to the housing. And you're done. So as a brief recap, we must remove the band clamp to remove the housing. Once we remove the band clamp, take the six bolts out of the bearing housing assembly, and lift the bearing and slot it out. Once we slide the old one out, we can slide the new one back in, install the six bolts back in, and then reinstall the housing and make sure that we have the band clamp nice and tight. So that's how you remove and install the bearing housing on RB4002. If you have any questions, please give us a call here at Republic or send us an email. Thank you.